Images are one of the most important parts of your UI designs because they really help to tell a story and they really help to form that product or a service that you are creating the design for. So in this video we're going to discuss just few of the resources I have used over the years, both free and paid, as to where you can find images for your UI designs. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about images for UI designs but before we do, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of the courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started with today's video and as I said, we are going to talk about images for UI uh, design and some of these resources are going to be free, some of them are going to be paid and some of them are going to combine both free and paid uh, licenses inside. So basically how all of this works is you have a license which is called CC0 which basically means that you can use these images for both free and paid uh, projects without having to uh, contribute and basically mention the original source and the original photographer behind that image. So that's the story of these websites and the first one and probably the biggest one you already heard of is Unsplash and of course you can jump in and explore all of these different uh, licenses that these websites have but basically what you can see right here is some of these images are sponsored that's how these websites get by and basically that's how they get to provide you with this immense value but basically if they're not sponsored you can see right here these photographers are available to hire and I'm not really familiar with every single website uh, and their mechanics behind the website itself, but majority of them are trying uh, different things, for example, sponsored cards, which you're going to see in a few moments, and uh, stuff like this, so perhaps they're taking a cut when the photographer gets hired, and I know especially Unsplash has worked with designers in the past, so you can actually work with the team behind Unsplash. I'm not really sure if that's possible anymore, but it, it, it was possible in the past, and and you can see right here it says Squarespace all you need to create a website so obviously an ad right here so that's how these websites get by and that's how they are providing this immense value to us as designers in terms of uh, images themselves you can click on this image you can add it to your favorites you can add it to the collection which is Im immensely helpful for example you're creating a website let's say car sales business and you find a bunch of car images right here you simply add them to that collection and then later when you go back to it you can simply select the ones that you think are going to fit just fine i did this many times in the past and i think it's really a great approach for both free and paid websites because creating collections can really help you uh, save you a bunch of time you can download it you can click right here and see the dimensions so you can uh, download these dimensions so small medium and original size which i think it's fantastic because you don't need this huge original size um, if you're creating for something like an ad or uh, instagram post or something like that uh, of course this original size is not that big actually and you can get much bigger images uh, when you go for premium websites and we're going to touch on that a little bit later but basically you can see how many views it had, how many downloads, future DNS, so where was it? You can see a small description right here, published seven days ago and free to use under the Unsplash license. Once again, you can click right there, check it out, and if you want, you can download it right here. As I said, uh, there is no need to contribute and to credit the original author of this image, but of course, it's always welcomed if you do so. The main problem with all of these websites are uh, variations of these images, which I'm going to touch in a little bit. So for example, you can see this image from this person if we jump right in you can see it's only one image of this person so when I start scrolling there is clearly not a single uh, additional image of that person or a model so that's a huge problem of all of these websites and you end up with a design which looks quite scattered what I mean by that is uh, quite simply there is not a connection and clear distinction behind your images, which I think is really difficult uh, for big clients to swallow, especially uh, if you start working with art directors and stuff like that. They know that you use free images and that's going to be really key differentiator be between beginner designers and media designers and of course senior designers because none of those two, so media and seniors, are using these free images usually. Uh, 
even in my work, I sometimes use free images, but I use them for some objects. So for example, a shoe or a chair or something like that, but never for people because usually for people and products, especially you need to have multiple images. So sets of images of that same image. So it doesn't really make sense to use these free websites, but I'm showing you these if you're just getting started, if you're just getting your foot through the door and you don't have money to pay, then these free websites, of course, are going to be of huge value to you. So going back to it, and we're going to go to the next website, which is called Pexels, which basically is exactly the same thing like Unsplash, and you can download all of these images. They sometimes have, especially if these brands come into play, they try to push their product like this sweater, for example, and you can see a sets of images here. But uh, once again, if you're trying to use uh, different uh, combinations of these images, then you're going to really struggle and you are not going to have too much luck with these. Of course, you can click and find uh, one or two different images from this model, but not a lot. For example, this and this are from the same set. But what if I want a uh, huge shot of the face of this model, for example, then I'm in no luck. And you can see that uh, all of these photographers are doing just that. Next up, we have Pixabay. And I forgot to mention, I think on Pexels, you are able to use videos. Not here, perhaps if I scroll down to the footer, if I can get to it at all. I think there is a pixel. Um, yeah, here it is. So videos, you can click there and use free uh, videos under the same license. And you can see Canva ad right here. So that's how they are sponsoring these websites. Next up, we have Pixabay, which is exactly the same as these two. They're just giving you a bit more uh, advanced options. So you have different vector vectors that you can use. You have uh, videos that you can use and you have music that you can use. Great thing about all of these websites is uh, you can contribute back to the community. If you have a nice camera, then you can take a bunch of images and you can upload them to all of these websites, which is going to be great for you because it's going to attract you traffic. And that's what we did for our web donut company. In the past, we created this uh, massive pack of free images and it attracted us huge clients uh, in the future down the line. But that approach is going to take you a lot of time. You can see uh, free images right here. And if I scroll a little bit more, we are bound to see an ad. So free images, join Pixabay, let's click on an image. So for example, this one, and you can see Squarespace ad. So that's what I was saying. Uh, basically, all of these are going to be just that. And of course, you can see uh, iStock images, so you can use their coupons, which is basically kind of like affiliate marketing deal. And you can see iStock ad right there. Uh, difference between uh, this Pixabay website and these two is you get a little bit more details. So of course you have their license, so free for commercial use, no attribution required. You don't have to link back to original photographer, but of course you can if you want to, but they're giving you these additional details about the camera these people used, about the lens they used, about all of these, so shutter speed, ISO, um, all of those details. And of course, you can see uh, image type resolution uh, when it was created, last updated. So if they made any changes to these images and you can see the category, so nature landscape, you can click right there. You can see how many views and downloads these, uh, this image had. Of course, you can buy a coffee here to this photographer if you really appreciate it and I really encourage you to do so, especially if you're using a bunch of images from exactly the same photographer. So basically this website has exactly the same problem as all of these other websites. So you found this image and you found it extremely helpful and good looking. But as you can see, it's just one out of uh, the entire portfolio of this photographer. So basically, as you can see, we have a team continuing right here. So they look great, but they're really limited. If we move back, we have burst which is by Shopify, so burst.shopify.com. And of course, I will leave all of the links to uh, these websites I'm mentioning down in the description below. Simply click there and access these websites at ease. So because it's from Shopify, they're really trying to help uh, developing businesses and entrepreneurs get to the business part much quicker and to use Shopify probably. So that's why there are no other sponsors here usually, but just Shopify because uh, all of these images are by Shopify. Of course, you can uh, have all of these collections right here. You can filter through categories and stuff like that. So if I click, I don't know, for example, men's fashion, and let's see what we have right here. If I click on this image, 
So you can see all of these options right here. We have high and low resolution, as I mentioned, depending on what you need it for. And as you can see, it's uh, not part of a specific set, but you have similar images right here. And it's the photo by this person. So we can jump inside. So you can see a few images here and there. So maybe one or two. But once again, we have exactly the same problem as with all of these other websites. And those problems can easily be solved by premium websites. And I use Envato Elements in all of my projects. If you watch this channel previously, you know how much I mentioned them because I really do use them every single day because I really find tremendous value in this website for all designers out there. How this works is you can of course pay and then have uh, unlimited resources unlimited access to all of these things you see right here so stock video video templates music graphic templates graphics presentations even 3d which i'm going to touch in my future videos because i found it amazingly uh, useful you have fonts and of course photos so for photos you can use envato elements photos which are photos on this website or you can use uh, 2020 photos which is this right here with 50 million plus additional images on uh, that website so 2020photos.com and it's the website by Envato Elements so when you purchase Envato Elements you have all of these photos and all of these resources plus additional 50 million plus photos from 2020 so I think it's really a fantastic value what's different about Envato Elements is you can refine by background colors you can refine by orientation and you can refine by a background so isolated which basically means on one single color and you can choose on which color and blurred so if the background of the image is blurred so it's much much easier for you to cut it later in photoshop for example so you can see uh, basically it looks really similar but if i click on this image for example you can see who created it right here and i can for example select this let's say young girl with headphones click Control C and then jump into the person profile. And now we have this search. If I hit Control V, paste it in and press enter, you can see how many images I have of this exact person. Further, if I click on the image itself, you can see the dimensions. So 6K image in this case, so huge. And that's really useful if you're doing uh, advertising campaigns, if you're doing printing campaigns, if you're doing any kind of printing design, so graphic design and stuff like that, it's extremely useful to have these huge images, especially if you're working with responsive website design, for example. So you are starting with big image. And then once you start going down, you can resize it later and then use those smaller sizes in your website a responsive design of course you can jump right here to see more similar images and more from this person so if i select this image for example and let's say portrait of cured gardener girl and then jump into the profile select that Control v and you can see how many image i have of this uh, exact person and i can click right there and then click zoom just to see if I want to uh, check a few more details, for example. So this can be a really fantastic option for you uh, if you're working with these kind of websites uh, where you need real people behind real projects. So this is the girl doing gardening, for example, and you want to get all of those small little details. And one huge advantage of not just Envato Elements, but all of these premium websites is there are not many people out there using these images. So that's your advantage. First of all, you're going to look much more professional than if you're just using these free images. And then second of all, you have all of these additional resources and options like all of these other graphics and stuff, but you have all of these additional collections of this exact image. So your designs in turn are going to look much more coherent and much more better planned out and professional and polished to other people, clients, hiring managers, art directors, and stuff like that then if we move on further i have additional free website which is called iso republic which once again is sponsored by all of these cards and pop-ups and stuff like that and once again it has the same uh, struggle as all of these other um, free uh, websites which is just variety and size of these images so sometimes on these images uh, on these websites you're going to find images which are for example I don't know 480p or something like that so really quite small depending of the time once it was uploaded and once again it's just that image and nothing else so that's the problem and finally we have two more websites so this is foodiesfeed.com and it's great for food images so if you're just specifically working on food products then i really recommend this website and of course 
else once again you can see all of these uh, banners and pop-ups and stuff like that finally we have one which basically can help you a lot especially if you're just on a budget if you're just getting started and you're just using free images which is this one the stocks.im once again links are going to be down in the description below so you can check out all of these websites but basically you're going to find uh, paid stuff right here, so featured and featured, and this where it has this uh, emoji on the side, for example, but all of these other websites are free. So if I scroll down, you can see how many of them they are. So here is Pexels. The downside is uh, it's going to load in this specific website. So what I would recommend is when you see something like here, so for example, Unsplash, it's going to sometimes open in a new tab, but if it doesn't, so for example, this one, perhaps uh, maybe type this name uh, in your browser, then hit enter. It's going to work much faster than in this particular website. So that's one downside of it. But the upside is it's going to show you all of these amazing uh, websites listed right here. Finally, on this website, you can see not just photos, but colors, icons, videos, mockups, and fonts. So you can browse through all of those. And one tip for the end is, Whenever you're using these websites, just make sure to familiarize yourself with the license behind the website itself. So always go through these websites, always go about us section, always go when I showed you that. So if we go right here, for example, let's use this image and let's see free to use under uh, the Unsplash license. So when I click right there, it's going to show you what the license actually is. So tip how to give attribution if you want to. So even though attribution isn't required, it's great to do so and stuff like that. So just make sure to familiarize yourself with all of these licenses, not to have any problems later. And with websites like Envato Elements, you're allowed to use these images and all of these resources in your personal and commercial work, of course, without attributing them because you paid for that. And that's the key limitation of all free resources online versus premium resources is in licensing so anytime you're using free resource somebody can change their mind later and perhaps sue you and that's not what you want so i really encourage you and advise you if you're just getting started it's completely fine to use any kind of free resources online heck you're even learning this on youtube for free of course so you can use all of these resources for free when you're getting started but as soon as you get some traction as soon as you get some clients under your belt make sure to start using premium resources because it's not going to just help you with the amount of all of these resources but it's going to differentiate you as a designer from the crowd and it's really going to uh, make your work look much more polished and much more professional than all of these other designers so there you go i really hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure to press that like button i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd passive income techniques design tips just like this one so if you enjoyed this kind of content make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care